guys, this is Derek from Falco Dog Training OC and uh, this is our lovely Rosie. She's a seven year old female boxer. Um, she came with us with a little bit of fear issues. Um, fear with strangers, fear with dogs, fear with people. Uh, starting to show growling and barking and a little bit of snapping. All right, so what our plan is with Rosie, while we've got her for the week or two, um, oh, watch out with that foot, with the week or two, uh, is to work on her socialization. Now, to get her socialized, we have to get obedience and control, all right? Now, we know she's not here to do the sits, down, stays, and all that, but she needs to understand control and obedience, so when she sees those potentially nerve-wracking things like a dog walking or a person being near her, instead of freaking out and potentially doing the wrong thing, we're gonna have her slowly fall into that obedience, okay? So really, the mindset is, oh my God, something freaky, but wait a second, Derek told me to heal, so I'm gonna heal, all right? Now, Rosie being seven years old is definitely a little bit tougher than the average one-year-old, all right? Reason why she's been doing what she's been doing for seven years, now that we're starting to change it up, it's gonna be a little bit tougher to change, all right? So we're gonna start this auto sit, we're gonna see how it works, and let's go. Now, the way to say heal for Rosie is not with the word, not by patting the leg, it is just a quick walk with the right foot, okay? Rosie, that's how we're gonna say heel. I'm gonna make a U-turn, and she's gonna come with me. She doesn't, she's gonna get a yank, okay? I'm not gonna stop and correct her. I'm not gonna do any of that. She's just gonna have to realize that whenever she's near or walking, she's gotta be at my side. All right, one more time. Not coming with me. Oh, a little bit, a little bit. I want you closer, though. Nice, and here I go. When I stop, that's a sign for her to sit. She's not gonna do it. I'm gonna yank her and push her butt down, all right? That way she understands I'm yanking her because she's not sitting, okay? Now the only negative she's gonna get is this yank on the collar, all right? But we only want it to be one time and one time only. Just like with a kid, you don't tell them, hey, knock it off, knock it off, knock it off every 15 minutes. You tell them once and then you move on, all right? Nice. Let's try it again. Good. Good, very nice, come on, a little bit. two yanks too many, but it got her to what she needed to be doing, right? I don't want to yank her that many times. I'm going to see if it's maybe my fault and I need to up, up, uh, up my game, right? Doing this for six years, I've started to realize that uh, every dog is different, just like a human. Come on, you're getting it, you're getting it. Not every dog needs the same thing, same thing with us humans, all right? So I'm going to stop once more. She's looking at me, she knows what to do. Also one time too many. That second correction was a little bit better than the first, but I want to make sure it's only one. Alright? More. Gonna stop. Hopefully she gets it. Yeah. Alright, so since this caller doesn't seem to be giving her the consequence she needs, that, that slap on the wrist that she needs, I'm gonna change up her collar. I've got a couple of collars here. Uh, being a trainer, I, I'm always washing my collars in the uh, machine, but let's see which one she needs. Got a couple of different sizes. You'll notice here, different lengths. All right, get the back in a sit, Rosie. Sorry, girl. Now. We want this collar to be as small on her as possible without her choking her when it's at rest, okay? We wanna make sure it slides over easy on her head, but there's not a lot of wiggle room, all right? So we'll try this one. Now the only reason I wanna change this collar is so she understands that when I say knock it off, it means something. With the flat collar, oh, I get it, Rosie. With the flat collar, it didn't seem to be giving her that consequence she needed, all right? Now, as we can kind of already see, this one's a little too short on her, and I don't want to choke her out because she's got that boxer head. It's probably not going to work for her. And I get you, a little bit weird, Rosie, but you're doing great. You're a champ. Yes, you are. All right, let me pull out this other collar here. Now, since that one didn't fit over her head, nice try. Nice try. I get it. I get it. 
since it didn't fit over her head, I'm gonna bring out this other collar. This one I believe is a 26, 26 inches. Good. Oh, okay, so check this out. This one definitely fits over her head. But look at this. We want this distance to be as small as possible, okay? That way it stays up here as opposed to falling down here. Because that's, that's the biggest problem with uh, uh, ch uh, choke chains. It doesn't really fit up here because when you buy one, you want it to be loose and down on the neck. But the issue with that is that when you want to say bad dog, being at the base of the neck doesn't help you at all, okay? So that one was too big, that one was too small. Let's try this medium size one. Being as I don't have eyes in the back of my head, this might take a second. Good. Oh, I know, Rose. So many things. I get you. Oh, this one might not. Oh, yeah, it will. Perfect. Okay, so check it out. I can actually get my whole fist under here, which is good. We got to make sure that it's totally loose on her when she's doing the right thing. But if I want to, I can keep it right up here. Oh, and since she's walking with us on the other side, I got to take this off. Help me out, Rosie. Thank you. Thank you. I get you. I get you. So weird. All right. Almost done. Almost done. Okay. Now, since I've changed the collar, since I've given myself more power than I normally have, what I want to do is I want to start my corrections at the very bottom level of power. I'm not going to go yank, yank, yank. I'm going to start really slow really weak so we can get a threshold. So whenever you try a new collar, you don't just immediately yank, 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 and go with full power. You gotta find what works for the dog. And being that you've got a new tool, you gotta make sure you know how to use it right. All right, so we're gonna try the auto sit again. We'll see how she does. Good girl, Rosie, good girl. Now, she can tell there's a, a, something weird here. She's licking her lips now. Good girl. I'm gonna encourage her up to me. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna yank her just a little bit. Guide her into this position. We'll try it a couple times, give her the chance. Good. <laughs> you can see she stopped there a little bit. She's going, wait a second, Derek. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get this yank. She's only going to get it, really, if she's not doing the sit. When she needs to sit, it's when, when I stop. Okay? Once more. Oh, nice! Nice! Almost there. What? Did I do something wrong? Come on. I'm gonna turn around. Whenever I turn around and she does it right, I'm gonna get some praise. Nice, nice. This praise is important, especially when she's on a new collar. That way she kind of gets the love that she needs, as well as that negative too. We keep it balanced for her. All right, once she does that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was great. That was so good. Nice, 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 nice. I'm gonna love her to death right now, because that took a while to do. And I want her to know that that sit that she just did was so good. She's got so <laughs> much love from me. And I got a hot dog in my back pocket. I'm gonna, oh my God, this dog is adorable. I'm gonna give her the hot dog. That way she understands she's gonna get all kinds of great things if she does what we ask her to. All right. This system is based off of love and respect. We gotta make sure we love her just as much as we give her respect, all right? Now, we've done great, she's done great, and make sure to check back in to Falco Dog Training OC. All right, thank you very much.